We are here in the beautiful Mojito Bar at Assembly Festival, and this is Assembly TV. Up the West End, that's the best end, where the nightclubs thrive. Down into a dive you go. There's a jazz queen, she's a has-been, has-been Lord knows what. Every night she's there on show. She dances underneath the magic spell. Um, is this your first time? Yes, it is. It's my first time ever to the festival, performing or watching. Yeah, I've been wow. to Edinburgh hundreds of times and yeah. never, never the festival. Is so. this your first kind of... Uh, I mean, I see you've trained as a, a dancer, not just yeah. any old dancer, but danced in Matthew Bourne's... Yeah, that's background. right. I've got, yeah, I've got a rather unusual sort of yeah. background for this sort of thing. You wouldn't sort of guess that I was doing a George Formby show from my CV. <laughs> <laughs> is this the yeah. first time you've put together a sort of one-man one man show? Uh, yes, it is the first time I've done a one-man show, yeah. I mean, I've devised plenty of shows. I mean, uh, I, tr yeah, I trained as a dancer, so I did work for, for Matthew Ball in, uh, yeah, in his Swan Lake and Carman and Play Without Words, all of those shows. Yeah, one of the most famous modern that. ballets ever. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. Yeah, and then I've, yeah, that sort of got me into physical theatre and, uh, and now I've been acting for yeah, six or seven years. But, and why um, George Formby? Because you, you devised this play as well, didn't you? Yeah. That's right, yeah, with a friend of mine, uh, Ed Hughes, who, who directed it. We were... Um, well, we were working on a play called Enron together, uh, acting in it, and I used to bring my ukulele around uh, to the dressing room just to entertain myself, mm. and, and he really loved it and um, said, yeah, you know, we should, we should do a show about this, and, just, and we ended up meeting up once a week mm. in a pub and writing a show, yeah. See her glide around the floor, then glide around into the pub next door, fun life. Well in the line, a queen all the time, you get your money's worth. By day you'd say, it's a second time on earth. She waltzes in the West End shops, the waltz is out in between two cups. Fan life, fan near the frowsy nightclub queen. I, I mean, I've been obsessed with George Formby since I was a boy, really. Yeah, is that something your parents, like, listen to all Not really, no, they used to show his um, films in the school holidays. Yeah, right. um, when I was, I don't know, seven or eight or something, and I just, I just, something about him, I don't know what it was, I was just yeah. obsessed with it, yeah. And they were kind of rock stars of the day, I mean, that yeah. was the entertainment, wasn't it? Well, George, yeah, George Formby was the, the number one film star, yeah. you know, in the country during, during the war, yeah. and it was all due to his wife, Beryl, who was an absolute firecracker, I mean, she was, yeah. she was, was incredible. She in the, was she a performer as well? Yeah, so she was a, a clog dancer when they first met. <laughs> yeah. And she what is, sorry, what is clog dancing? Well, clog, she, I mean, she's quite a glamorous clog dancer, yeah. she, um, so her feet clog dance, but she's quite, you know, she looks quite Hollywood on yeah. the top. Um, which is what, sort of like a, a showgirl river dance. <laughs> it is short, yeah. yes, right. Excellent. showgirl yeah. river dance, That's yeah. That's how I shall know it, yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> how I shall recognise it. Oh, excellent. I'm yeah. really looking forward to seeing it. Yeah, hear a story mm. about those performers, because I find them really fascinating anyway, so. Yeah. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. <laughs> well, earlier today, on a typically slightly rainy summer morning we had a little walk through the beautiful George Square Gardens that Assembly are running this year here at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. So uh, come and have a walk with me. We're here in the Assembly George Square Gardens and I'm sitting with Tabitha Seaboth who is the front of house manager for the entire garden. We are old mates because you see uh, us carny folk tend to frequent the same kind of venues and this is not the first time we've been in a Spiegel garden. It's been about it? five years <laughs> of Spiegel has tents, has. hasn't it? <laughs> it has. But this, I have to say, might be the classiest and nicest one we've been in. It's, it's definitely, definitely good. the greenest grass I've ever seen. At all natural, all natural, <laughs> as natural as my eyelashes. Um, and can you tell us a bit about some of the tents we have here? So we've got three tents in the gardens mm -hmm. this year. We've got two Spiegel tents, a nice large one which we're calling the Teatro, which has got lots of great variety shows. We've got the best of the fest variety. I, oh, and I did the I did daytime and one we've yesterday. Got best that of the was best awesome. daytime. Mm -hmm. So there's some great shows for getting lots of things in. We've also got some more Australians represented in there. Oh my god, Australians at the fringe. Yeah, at the fringe. So Who would have thought? The so pajama men, so classic. Oh, they're doing their improv show. Yeah, the improv oh, show. Awesome. So awesome. that's great. Um, we've also got another Spiegel tent, the Elegance, which I think you know well. I do. <laughs> it's I think it's probably the best. Tent. It's so got I don't know, one maybe of the most both. beautiful facades I've ever seen. 
with the grey yeah, art decor. So you can probably just see it actually behind yeah. us over there. Um, we've also got Monsky Mouse's Baby Disco at the other end of the spectrum, which is happening in the morning. I have a two-year-old. We have been there. We uh, like Monsky Mouse a lot. I think it's the cutest thing I've ever seen. So if you know anyone with little ones under five, you've got to bring them in. But it's also good because uh, they play a little bit of Cure, a little bit of Love Cats, and yeah, so there's the something for everyone. For it's awesome. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're enjoying that a lot here in the garden. Um, so that tent's great as well. And we've got my favourite tent because it was the first one I ever worked with when I first yeah. ran away with the circus mm -hmm. six years ago, the Bosco, yeah. which is over 100 years old and just stunning. Um, and that's got some great shows in it as well. We've got Dr. Brown, 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 the kids show course, in there, yeah, which, yeah. and a singing tiger. Um, it's a lot of varied stuff as well. Four Screws Loose, which is a bit more music. It's kind of the real carny tent, Yeah, it's very Bosco, carny. It? Yeah. It's got a lot of different things. Is there um, Le Clochards? Yeah. Le Clochards, Otto, awesome. Kunle, lots yeah. of different things. So it's Lady Rizzo's in there yeah. as well. She's amazing. So, so yeah, there's a lot to see here in the garden. There is a lot to see. And also lots of great food. I am slightly obsessed with the barbecue pork baguette at Scoop oh, Street Kitchen. Scoop Street Kitchen has mm. been keeping me alive. They, there's vegetables, worried, there's meat. About my thighs. There's also the Urban um, Angel Grill. Urban which Angel Grill. And the coffee obsessed, by but... Urban Angel as well, which is great, which keeps me going every day. And luckily on days like today, we've got a lot of cover as well. So we've got lots of umbrellas. We've got a big <laughs> And the marquee. bar's really covered this year, which is fantastic, which is really good. And uh, they've also got the Olympics showing. It gets a bit cold. So we do have heaters. Mm -hmm. And we've got blankets and picnic rugs to keep everyone warm. You guys are totally covered for everything. So love it. come on down and visit us here. Well, thanks for watching Assembly TV, our very first segment here at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. I've been Ali McGregor. I still will be Ali McGregor every night at 9.10 in the Salon Elegance over in the Assembly, George Square Gardens, doing my show, Alchemy, which I would love to see you at. But we're going to finish this little segment with a performance from the incredible physical theatre, circus, dance troupe, Knee Deep, who are performing at the Teatro, also in the George Square Gardens at 7.35 every night. I'll see you next time.